Well, greetings, hello, and welcome back. It's episode number 25, a little mini subscriber appreciation special, kind of tied in with the um, some Industries DLC stuff. So I want to just uh, quickly talk on that just for a little moment here. We've got a lot of people that are just supporting the channel one way or another. Some of you guys have been um, yeah, choosing the PayPal, uh, paying to subscribe, just being awesome people around the, the Twitch stream even. So I've gone ahead and finally named, finally named some districts after you find folks. So it's a lot of names just to kind of go through, but if we kind of casually go overhead here, see a few districts, a few, see a few wonderful places here. I've actually seen uh, Joyce's name right here. Um, I'm going to talk just slightly, it's going to be such a random segue. I'm going to talk a little bit slightly about computer stuff here. Um, questions kind of came in from Joyce about uh, computers. So uh, with City Skylines in general, if you are looking to kind of start doing modding and, you know, maybe making like giant cities, uh, the game, if nothing else, is very, very demanding on, a, um, on your CPU. So you'll probably want one of the newer model i5s. Definitely look into Ryzen. I think it's a really cost-effective powerhouse. Um, the Ryzen 7s, the i7s, the i9s, Ryzen 9s are all amazing choices. You can get away with maybe an i3, but if you're looking to stream and make a big city or anything like that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother. But definitely look at Ryzen. And as far as video cards go, um, the 1050 Ti is pretty decent. 1060 is not too bad. A 980 Ti is still rock and rolling. A 1080 Ti, if you can get one for cheap, 1080. You don't have to go out and get one of the 20 series right away, especially for City Skylines. And I really wouldn't be like just, you know, jumping right away to buy one of the 3000 series. So the game, if nothing else, very heavy on CPU. Uh, doesn't do too much in terms of um, video card stuff. And I would say that if you are looking to add a lot of custom content, you'll want to really, really beef up your RAM. You'll probably want 16 gigs of RAM just minimum to play the game these days. But definitely, um, I'd say 32, if not more, when you're when you're looking to get a lot of workshop content. So I just I suddenly thought of that choice, put in a comment the day, and I was like, oh, I gotta answer that still. This is so much easier though, right? And then kind of going into um, comment section a little bit more here, I do get a couple really big common questions, and one of them's gonna be the theme of the episode. The other we're just gonna talk about just ever so slightly here. But everyone's like, yo, where's the downtown? And granted, some of these comments are coming in on like older episodes. So if you made it here, you made it, right? We're still talking about it. But the goal is to buy a, um, as you know, like the two tiles here, right? One and two, cuts the island in half. Buy these, make a massive, grandiose uh, downtown. And we're talking like, you know, Central Park that follows the highway. Like really, really cool place. And um, actually, it was so funny because we were talking about wanting to buy the one, two, three tiles right here. And I was saying about industries, right? A lot of people ask about the industries, DLC, supply chain stuff works. I actually want to talk about that today. And I was looking at where our resources could be for um, metalworks. And we actually had to buy the tile up here, funny enough, if we want to make all of this possible, or the one behind the uh, the mountain. So it's a slight deviation to our original nine. Still lets us do the, the island and the downtown. We just can't do a little fun stuff over here. And in the long run, once we get all nine done and the city is like, all the milestones are complete, we've done a whole bunch of cool stuff, then we unlock the rest with mods. And then we just build a giant city. But we'll talk about that in a second. So let's uh, let's jump into Industries DLC. So I went ahead and unfortunately did it again, where I put down a few um, polluting buildings where I just didn't think they did pollute. So we'll have to deal a little bit with the trees, but that's okay. Spacing-wise, I think we're not too bad. But yeah, in general, the way the Industries DLC work, um, you're going to be basically painting down a district. I'm going to kind of start from the beginning here. So you paint down a district. And then you're going to pick one of um, uh, four industries. It's going to be farming, forestry, mining, or oil. And then you're going to put down the main building. So this is us for farming right here. And then the main building in the farming case is just a really cool looking farmhouse. So it kind of like makes sense, right? Farming building. Um, not too many workers over here, so we probably should be putting in some work camps. We're going to beef this up in a second. Uh, no pun intended for the, uh, <laughs> the animal pastures. Yeah, so far operating normally. We just want to get more workers here. And the key to getting the farm uh, areas to level up, or just any industrial area to level up, is to produce more and to get more workers. So if we click on our um, uh, butler orchard, you can see right here our um, producers, where they're going, how much we're outputting, how close we are to the next level, requirements for the next level, and whether we're profitable. So it's a lot to kind of take in right here, and we'll go over all of it in a second. But we're basically looking to see how close we are to the next level and what's stopping us. Definitely not productivity, it's um, it's workers. Let's just switch this over. <clears throat> Are we getting unlucky with another commercial back-to-back? -back? We'll see, give me one second. No, I think it's a song, okay. And then in this case, right, so who are the producers? Those are the crops, right? Um, forestry, that would be like, you know, um, your 
forest bush. I'm sorry, your forest patches. Like what I'm trying to say here, like your forest thing, right? Your trees. What's this thing? Lumber, right? Like pure uh, lumber. What is this thing? Your plantation. That's the word. My goodness. Yeah. So this would be like your producer in terms of a, uh, a forestry. Um, obviously, our crops right here are the farming. The crops get delivered to the animals and they get delivered to the mills, and that creates the next level of product. So if we look at our supply chain here, right? So it goes extractors into processing buildings, over into unique factories, and then eventually to commercial zones. So that's basically it in a nutshell. You're trying to balance it all, make it profitable, and put down the buildings like required to kind of get you to the next level. So let's try and level up our forestry. So we just need um, about 60 workers. And we can do that in the form of some barracks or nearby residences. And I think barracks would be pretty simple. So let's throw a few in, kind of detail these two. That's not too bad. And just like what we did with the um, uh, forestry sector, I do want to try maybe adding like a little bus line through here. And then what's cool is like the complexity of the industry supply chain just gets more and more like complex and way more fun to balance if you ask me. So like what we're going to be doing, this is why I was looking into the metal. Um, when we unlock the next level for the farming, we're going to be able to put down a lemonade factory and we can start using some of the crops, you know, grow some lemons and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of interesting with the paved. But then for that to function, though, we're going to need uh, some glass coming in from one of the uh, the metalworks, which we don't have yet, right? So kind of an interesting one here. So we're going to have to do a big push for the population. I think we're still going to put the uh, the factory down as if it's going to be used. Let's just decorate this, make this look a little bit nicer for their workers. But yeah, piecing the industry supply chains together um, can make it extraordinarily profitable for your uh, industrial sectors. And it can be just like a really, really, really fun challenge. Because I'd say that of the um, of the DLCs where they add extra mechanics, I think Industries DLC is probably one of the most challenging to balance in a very fun way. Okay, so just you know, somewhere for the worker bees to hang out. Yeah, that's nice. And we'll just throw a few trees in, get some shade on the hot days. How lovely. Okay, so that might be enough workers to actually bump us up. Uh, let's put it on three speed here as we uh, chit chat. Yeah, 340, 341, 342, we're climbing. We're climbing, boys. And then there's still a lot of room to grow over here, so that's great news. So we'll probably unlock the next level, and then when that happens, we can put down uh, the bigger crops and everything, and then start working it. There we go. Start working in the new stuff. So that's the lemonade factory we were just chit chatting about, right? And this guy here does not have to go within the farming zone, which is nice. And we'll go over factories too. We've kind of slightly talked about that. Um, we didn't really add any of the, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, warehouses, which really, really help kind of facilitate everything. So we'll kind of make a really fun little industrial zone here, I think. And then to tie in, I think with our small town, actually. Here, why don't we just grab, this will be kind of fun, right? So it's kind of like the main road through, uh, through town. If you want to think of it like that or like connecting the outskirts of town to like the work zones and stuff actually even better if we don't do the symmetrical like we're just going to freehand that one and let's say you want to turn that way say you're a truck Makes it a little bit easier for you, right? I think this is one of those like dare to be different moments right here. But I was hoping to make like a separate little um, area just for the uh, lemonade factory. <clears throat> yeah, just like that. So our small town can be like partially supported from a few uh, nearby factories. And I'm just going to just kind of casually push some of that earth out. Oh, and guys, we were talking about this before, too. Uh, I did actually get a new processor. It's ordered. It's coming. There's going to be computer upgrades. Um, my final specs are going to be the um, i9. And it's going to be the 10900X, because I'm a little bit crazy. 
I've got an Asus uh, gaming uh, motherboard made by, um, well, made by Asus, but it's by partnered with uh, Republic of Gamers. And I've got a matching 1080 Ti to go with it, which is pretty crazy. So I kept those two together, um, which is why I ended up going for the i9, even though earlier I was talking about uh, Ryzen. And then I've got, um, I do need a new hard drive, but I've got uh, an M.2 for uh, City Skylines and, um, and a lot of my games. And then I've got um, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, and it's Corsair, and it's Quad Channel, and it's the DDR, whatever the highest one is. I think DDR4 right now, maybe? I feel like, I, I, honestly, I should know this kind of stuff, you know what I mean? But, but yeah, no, it's a great computer. Working really well, so I'm really excited to uh, upgrade it. Yeah, this is kind of cool. I like this a lot. Fairly simple. And let's give them some logistics, too. And we can talk now a little bit about um, uh, warehouses. Wow, that word's always hard for me to come up with, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. All right, so the warehouses are in their own tab. We can even put down the bakery. Um, over. Actually, no, let's put the bakery with... We wanted to make this up a, a little bit bigger, too. So let's throw the bakery here. We'll beef this up with warehouses, but let's just pretend like we're getting all the warehouses ready for this guy. So what do you need? You need crops, which is pretty easy for us to do. We've got the farms nearby, and you need glass. That's going to be the challenging part. And then what do you produce? You produce lemonade. That's fun. So we will grab a warehouse. And then the size just kind of depends on how much you think you're going to need. And I think also for visual fun, too. So let's put this... Maybe across. Yeah, just for a little bit more visual fun here. So I think we're going to throw another warehouse down as well. And then we can put just a small lot. Yeah, I'll do that right there. So the reason why we need three, even though this is only for two, is we need somewhere for the lemonade to go as well. So this can be... Actually, you know what we're going to do? is we're going to grab our farming stuff, and we can actually put crops in uh, these things, in the grain silos. So we'll give these guys a couple grain silos for a little bit more realism, and then maybe one little uh, barn here. And then these things here can store uh, the crops. And then this can be, hmm, what can we do for you? So that can be glass. I guess we could do, I want to say maybe like, some of the zoned industry. I don't even think we can do crops with this. No, it has to be one of those for crops. Okay. So zoned um, industry. And that would be commercial goods. There we are. So if we do any little nearby uh, yellow industry zoning, they'll drop goods off here. So this one might not really be all that good here. It's more just for, uh, for fun. And then that one's the glass. And this one becomes uh, our unique factory products. And these get brought to our uh, commercial zones. And then so now, when the lemonade factory runs out of crops, and it starts uh, calling for some, uh, you know, reinforcements, some new... Uh, is that too tight? It is a little bit too tight. One second, my friends. But yeah, so when the lemonade factory starts to run out, and it's calling for some more... Um, uh, more crops, it only has to get them from here. So you'll see a lot of trucks initially drop off and fill these guys up, but once they're full, it's just a spawning a truck from here and then dropping off right here. No having to do trucks the entire time through. So theoretically it saves you truck um, traffic in the long run. You've got to plan for that early logistics though. And then this symbol here just means we don't have all the, the goods yet, which I think is kind of apparent because we don't have glass set up. So get ready for traffic. That's why we did a little one-way setup. This is just going to be temporary until these guys are full. And we have it set to be balanced anyway, so I don't think they're actually going to be full. So we'll let them do their thing. If it becomes too much, we can maybe delete one or two, right? But that's principally the idea behind the uh, Industries DLC. You're balancing supply chains from a more or less a big producer to a slight middleman to big factories, and then the people are the end goals. We're sending these just basically out to commercial markets. So let's do the same thing over here. So we can kind of figure these ones out. And we should have enough goods to get these going. So just dealing again with um, traffic, why don't we do a little one-way turnaround behind here. 
No, that doesn't quite want to work. Oh, it's our school. What if we um, move this slightly? We got a road this way? Oh yeah, check this out. Just so our turn here isn't, um, isn't as tight. Switch back to the surviving Mars. Yeah, guys, I'm really trying to hunker down and, like, get more content out. I do want to make some content for Surviving Mars. I do want to get some stuff for uh, Transport Fever. I've been talking about that for, for a while. So it's all just coming. The more practice I get with making the videos, too. And I feel like I'm just, you know, becoming more forgiving of my just, like, you know, natural weirdness. <laughs> Sometimes it prevents me from making videos. I don't know how to describe that. Anyone who makes content, maybe, maybe you guys understand. And sometimes it's just tough, you know? It's not like a broken record, but sometimes it's just tough. You schedule, you know, 10 till 12 to be productive. All of a sudden it's 11.30, you're not productive. You're like, oh lord, you know? All right, so what do you need here? You need animal products, you need crops, you need flour. Cool, that's pretty easy for us. We got actually all three going. So same idea, crops can be that way. And then we'll just want to put down the rest in the form of our uh, warehouses. Oh, I remember the word this time. I almost forgot, but I remembered it. Struggled for a second. And let's see if we can be a little bit gentle with the terraforming here. You know what, it's not looking too good, but I think we might be able to hide a rock through here if we try. I love using these things on the slopes. I, think I mentioned that before when you were doing uh, down here. Yeah, especially when it slopes over. Let's see if we can get some trees now in between. And you know, I really, we mentioned this before, I really like the idea of just doing a little bit more of the ground cover. I think we're taking it there. And I feel like over time, the more of this that we do, the better I'll be like feeling about it. So I'll be seeing it everywhere. So I'll be able to justify it, but just for the moment. It feels very daunting. That's why we leave the, the detail. We don't want to leave this till the very last minute. So we're really going to start doing that detail as we go. That's better. All right, so one of you has to be animal products. Oh, there it is, animal products. And then the other has to be just flower, that's right. And then together, these things make uh, unique factory products, both of these. And then where are you getting your resources from? I don't actually think we put the stuff down. I wanted to, I guess we just never did it. So that means trucks are coming the entire distance every time it's asking for something. Which is a, you know, a little bit inefficient, let's be real. I don't know what it is, I just love doing these yards. Especially when you get them just kind of like the way you really want them to be. So I want these two together. And that guy like this, yeah. And let's terraform the back. Smooth that out slightly. That's not bad. Not bad. And then just, yeah, same old song and dance. A little bit of trees. Kind of nice boundary here, too, for the, uh, for the trains. And then let's head over to the farms, and we'll add some more of those buildings we actually unlocked. We still haven't done that yet. And it'll be a while, but we'll try and get the metal uh, set up in a few episodes. <laughs> right now, that silly factory is just... It's costing us money. Paying workers to do nothing. Alright, so who do you need to be? I think we need paper and plain timber. Yeah. And then one of them is going to have to be unique factory products here. I normally do unique factory products in the smaller lot. You can do it in the big ones, obviously, right? For a lot of producers. But I feel like we're going to be out to market so quickly. And we do have some yellow industry here, too. So we can actually... We can do... Um, we can justify this one. Here, check this out. 
And maybe let's open this up to two-way traffic. I'll allow it. So you become the zoned uh, commercial zone goods, right? Right, right. And then your unique products, right? And then your the plain timber. And then, goodness, what was the last one? Paper, paper. Cool. Cool. Okay, that's perfect. And then we make furniture out of that. That's excellent. Um, now let's um, make sure that we got enough uh, stuff being produced back here. All right. So what did we unlock? We unlocked a milking parlor. I don't think we have this guy down yet, right? No, nope, no milking parlor. And I believe you produce pollution. Let's be smart about this this time. It does. So we'll keep it with other uh, polluters. There's one milking parlor over there. Flour mill we already have. That's working well for us. And I think it's just a new set of uh, plantations and uh, fields and stuff that we can put down. Or crops or whatever. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, medium crops look fantastic because they've got a, uh, a farmhouse with them. Love that. So let's make this all look the same. Oh, mm, I do want to do a greenhouse. Let's do that elsewhere, though. So let's get some corn going. Just for a variety. And we'll put down some silos right next to this. Decorate this. Just pretending that that's like our, um, our driving path. Remember what we said before about the trees starting to take away? I don't know if I mentioned this. Did I mention this? I think I did. I've now recorded this uh, twice, so I sometimes honestly forget what I said. But if you're not uh, paying attention, you can kind of destroy your own farm zones. So, for example, this is farming right here. If I said this before, it's a broken record. I apologize. If I put down a whole bunch of trees, I'm creating my own forestry zone at the cost of the farming. But this is basically how you create your own farming. Or farming. How you create your own forestry zone if there already isn't one. So trees are beautifully abundant, so just put them down and they help. But just they do unfortunately take away from the farming. If you delete the trees, the farming does not return. So fertile land, keep it for farming if that's your intention. Put the trees in when you're done. That's kind of the, uh, the game plan here. Okay, and then a medium fruit. And then greenhouse. And then terraforming, and then decorating. Cool. And we still need silos just over on that side. And I know some of you, you're so kind, some of you. Even tell me in the you know comment section when you come into the Twitch stream, like, don't worry, just release the other ones. They're bad, trust me, they're bad. Or it's like, you know, like I, I do want to sound like I know what I'm talking about a lot of the time. And sometimes I do make very just simple, innocent mistakes. I don't want to pass on to you guys. I catch them when I'm uh, editing. Or if I'm trying to give advice and I say something just so incredibly wrong, it, it just seems so counterproductive, you know? And in the heat of the moment, sometimes you just get stuff wrong. It's just, it's very, very common. Do we have a cattle shed? We do. That's this thing right here, of course. You know, presto, farm's getting bigger. All right, well, again, that's kind of, in a nutshell, the industry's DLC. You're trying to balance and manage an ever-growing supply chain with uh, bigger and uh, better, uh, f uh, you know, factory products. And the bigger, the better the factory product, the more zones they're going to require. So eventually, some of these gargantuan ones, right, need from everywhere. So you're bringing, like, metals, you know, oil... You're building cars and stuff in the, the late game stuff, right? So it's a lot of fun, and it really makes your waterfront, makes your industrial zones, whatever you're trying to like beef up, it looks amazing. Because the buildings themselves are gargantuan, right? And I feel like from someone who's been playing Skyline since like day one, I feel like the game has been really lacking sometimes large, large assets. And so that's a really big, noticeable, beautiful factory. Same with this here. And then look at the logistics to go with it. Like it really nicely fills in the area. It's cool having the dirt road here too. Take a second to just appreciate our city. 
And I, you know, I, I really, like, we had to move some stuff over here. I wish the pollution wasn't as predominant, though. Yeah, it looks good, guys. It looks really good. And I feel like, again, I said this every episode, I feel like this is only the beginning. So much more to build and do. Traffic's pretty good. It's all moving. All right, well, let's, uh, let's put the industry stuff on hold. It's looking great so far. Get a little bit more water in here. And then let's switch gears to our ever-present uh, goal. Get more people in here. So, let's just do a quick, quick, quick run through of our um, services as well. Power's good. Water's good. Uh, showing traffic, interestingly enough, in this view as well. I don't know how many is over here, but... Check out garbage. Garbage is good. Garbage is definitely good. The only thing is we got to make sure that we're still cycling through this particular building. So when this becomes full, we got to make sure we empty it quickly. All right, it's healthcare. Let's use healthcare is looking good. Coverage wise, yeah, yeah. Death care, same idea. The cemetery use is high. We know that we're keeping some some full for that that weirdness. You know, the livable city where there's lots of death. Oh God. Yeah, childcare. We could use some more coverage over here. And this is in our big condo network, so this is this is justifiable. We've got a lot of people here. That's a rather large building. You know what? Probably in this corner segment, if we were to draw another road out. Okay. So let's do some death care and some child care over here. And let's connect this dot, and we can make it park out of the rest. And then even though we were looking at our uh, services and stuff, this is a good little tangent. We can work with this. And I think we're just going to freehand that road and then come in with hopefully enough spacing between these two that we won't really run into problems. So that's child care and elder care. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but there are some cities, I don't think I have in this uh, series, there are some cities where they team these two up together. Um, Japan comes to mind, they do some of... Uh, some of the best with that. We, we basically have like kids being babysat by um, the elderly. And it just, it rejuvenates everyone. The kids, they, you know, they're in good hands. You got someone with like crazy good life experience, wonderful stories to tell too, right? But it makes just, oh, makes them feel so young again. So that'd be kind of nice, right? Leave the kids with uh, Graham Gramps, you know? Okay, so a little bit of a walkability score improvement here at the cost of houses. I really am a barbarian, eh? Some of you were very kind about that when I talked about it last, but we really are. We're mean people here sometimes. But we care about the kids, though, so that's, I mean, that's got to be in our direction, right? Points for us. Yeah, that's really nice. And I'm going to just unzone this little corner so I don't come back in. Cool. I really like how that filled in. And then just saw a park. That was, I think, the last, uh, the last piece of the pie. We want you to trust us with your money. All right, switch things over to some classical. Haven't heard that in a while. Okay, for your parks. A little playground might actually be really nice with this. <laughs> a little dangerous. Maybe we can swap these around, eh? Give me one second. Put that for right there. No, that doesn't look right. Um, par the park, for sure. Playground vibe, I think, is more what we're after. And then we're just going to draw our own. And if we had uh, Industries DLC Park, we still probably could put one in here, but I don't really think we really need one. Okay, so what do we want here? We want some fencing, just a little bit more connectivity, and we'll put down some trees. That'll be pretty much, I think, what we're after. Yeah, it's kind of going back to that comment about comments. You guys leave very fun, friendly comments. 
I've been doing this for like quite a few years now, and a lot of you, same familiar faces, which I, like that in itself, it's like an episode of Cheers, like you, you know what I mean? Like this is the hangout, like this, it's, it's just incredible, that's why I feel like it's so bad sometimes getting these videos out so infrequently, because it's such a fun way to get all of us together, you know? I mean, I some inside jokes, mostly fire related, right? But just building it all, I really just, it's just really wonderful, I really look forward to all of this. And again, just, I've been doing this for like a while, and I just don't really get like that many negative comments. You know, we get a few trolls here and there, right? But just for the most part, you guys are just, you're the good ones. And that's why uh, some of these, you know, parks and places are named after you. At least I could do. Alright, not really a lot of, um,. Uh, zoning's being done here, and I think we're supposed to be putting down people. That was okay. I'm gonna get distracted. I kind of thought that we would, like, segue into zoning right now, but no, we're still stuck on this. Stuck in a good way, though. Um, what do I want here? I want... I guess we can use one of these little... Yeah, this guy here, a little statue would be nice. put this almost like he's got um, like tickets to sell for the transit the transit cloth oh that's perfect oh kind of ties in with that too yep wow that was such a big open space for so long what a great use okay back to our uh, potential zoning what's a good spot to kind of break into I'm not quite ready for the small town I don't think you know, I think logically over here would make sense, and we can start trying to use the uh, the levels. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring this bridge around. Let's start connecting this all up here. That'll be how we'll end the episode off. I think you guys are enjoying the longer ones anyway. I was thinking of making this a little bit more simplified, but no, we'll, we'll make it complicated. All right, so what, what do we want to ideally connect with? I think it might be the asymmetrical road. But I'd also not like to have too much traffic, just because these two are naturally a little bit close together. I don't dislike the flow. I think all of this is kind of working. I don't really want to change it. So why don't we make the bridge about, say, here? And so it's going to be ugly at first, but I just need some anchor points. Okay, so basically this height going across. Let's do a six-lane bridge, because that'll look really commanding. Yep, perfect. Okay, so that could be brought up a little bit. Thank goodness we have so much money banked. How that happened, I have no idea. We're just taking it so nice and slow right now. Okay, it's going to be a challenge. But I'm going to hold that 180. One pillar too high. I'm just going to eyeball that, hopefully. <laughs> no, I'm doing a terrible job of this. Okay, there, there's the 90. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. And then we'll terraform just to smooth this out. Gentle, nice. And that should be, yep, 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 nice and gentle into there. And then this, I think, oh, the goal was to have that go right into that. Hmm. I don't think we can fix it without having to redo the bridge, but I kind of want that to line up. I know that seems preposterous that we just went through this whole, this whole shebang, but... I think this is this will be justifiable. Um, I would argue that if we could bring that up just ever so slightly, it'd be better. But from a distance, it's not too bad. Yeah, I, I can take that. I can take that. That's fine by me. 
And I think that kind of solves this, uh, you know, like, question mark. What do we do with this road? And then this now we can break away, have the tears. Yeah, this will be great. <clears throat> and sorry, guys, I feel like I'm just kind of losing my voice a little bit here. I sound like a little under the weather almost. I did a 24-hour stream earlier in the week, and I feel like I'm still kind of recovering from that, so... And then, no joke, some days I just record and record and record and get nothing to show for it. It's just very embarrassing. Now, I would like uh, some variety in some, like, crosswalks. Just so we can get, um, you know, some cars parked, some people walking across a little bit. And I would like to have, just on the other side of the street, like a walking path. So just enough room for that. With, of course, a fence, because good lord. And then down here. Now, the lower tier is probably going to be for the rail, now that we remember this. So let's get uh, housing up in this part. Be nice to come out on an angle like that. That's cool. It's good use of the tier here as well. And I think we can actually zone off this, which will be really, really fresh. This one, no zoning, but that's okay. And then possible rail underneath. Just remember that, okay, yeah. Maybe zoning off uh, this side. Oh, the view you would have. Let's put some condo towers. So we'll do condo towers overlooking homes so everybody can enjoy the view. Yes, yeah, so that little stutter right there. That's why we're doing the computer uh, upgrade, which I, I cannot wait for that. And I feel like that's a bit of a mental block too, having having the stutters and stuff. I'm kind of like, I want to make better YouTube content. I feel like that's kind of a, a roadblock, you know? And in case you guys are curious, I actually record with uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay, so I do try to like limit the amount of um, uh, CPU usage. But it's just, you know, it's all, it's all a challenge. Alright, you know what would be really fantastic? Uh, if we were to do these as the um, uh, suburban, European suburbia style homes. Help tie that look more into the city. And specialize this oh, right this way. Yep, cool. Before these start to really, really zone in. And some more of these tall guys. Welcome to the classics. Classical music to classy people. Switch this over. And I think realistically the services should be okay over here, but we might drop something down just to help uh, kickstart. I'm actually going to turn this on three speed as well. And I wouldn't say we're like that close, but we're starting to get close to the next milestone. Actually, this can be a little store, and then that can be the walking path. Make this a little bit here closer. I'm getting better at this. But I'm trying not to have too many holes. That just got away from us, but I'll put a fence right there, I think. No, I made it so much worse, didn't I? All right, well, just leave it. Can't all be perfect like us, you know? And 
And then we'll actually use the nature reserve uh, fence. Where is that one? Yeah, nature reserve. Oh, I was already on it, though. I tend to do the nature reserves and those kind of things when more of the city is like really well established. I like having them like well in the outskirts. And a growing city just keeps on pushing into the outskirts, right? So we'll eventually catch up to the nature reserve. I don't want to have to like move it. A lot of effort to like create something that looks very natural. But I do want a national park. I think that's come up uh, a couple times in the, uh, the comment section as well. Yeah, this is kind of nice. All right, and then the ever elusive. Let's get some ground cover in here. Again, if we don't use it, it'll never show up. And then once it's everywhere, it'll start making sense. But until then, it'll be like, oh boy. I don't like that I like him so much. I'm trying to throw one of these rocks in here. You took out that one tree? That's what you do? Oh my goodness. We'll do more with that when the train comes through. Yeah, I kind of see us like using a bit more of this slope here as our as an advantage so we'll break away and then do a really long slalom a big long loop and then come on in and that can theoretically head downtown we can have a station somewhere along this uh, corridor and then we'll link up with another station down here and then that can meet over into this one and that can kind of like tie in the next loop Man, there's so much to do we should probably put a stop in the university Early between the two. Oh my goodness, there's so much to do in the city when you actually think about it. And then how have we still not really come back and revisited our big transit hub? That's where the train station should probably be. On the outskirts of this uh, little spot. Oh my goodness, so much to do. So much to do. Alright, well this is an extra long episode. Um, before we get too crazy here with time, let's just... Uh, I don't want to say wrap up, but just quickly zone a little bit more. How might that look with some wall-to-wall? -wall? And I'm actually kind of curious. I've done this a lot in the past. I haven't really done it too much recently. But leaving sections of like four or six lane road, especially when they're elevated like this, just unzoned. Obviously you can't zone the elevated one, but leave them as almost like an in-town kind of like high-speed driving corridor. You're not going to slow down by anyone like stop and picking up people, theoretically. And you can have, you know, have them like feel like they're kind of lost a little bit in the woods. So we're gonna really just beef this up on both sides here. Almost like an extension to the Porter Washington Parkway. Freshwater outflow right here with a little waterfall would be so nice. Oh my goodness. One day we'll really do the detailing. Some of the stuff I do like uh, better than others. What I really like about this is you can kind of like squeeze it in between all the trees and it, and it doesn't remove the tree for you. And then just to be a bit aggressive with the population, let's go for more uh, more high density here. And then we'll take a quick peek at services, because we are starting to get a little out of control at time. I know you guys are loving this, but my poor computer will not when we are rendering this episode. Computer will be like, look at the timestamp. My computer will be like, are you out of your mind? Who do you think runs this show? I'll be like, please, please, is it one more? One more. Okay, three speed. Watch this fill in at least. Put some trees behind here. And 
And I really like the fact that the European Suburbia almost has like the detailing already done for you. So when we revisit this, it won't really be too much work. Which means another half episode coming up soon. I want to be too, too far in between those, you know. Yeah, that's nice. All right, tone it back down, tone it back down. No need to be three speed here. What do we got? Schooling, yeah, you can kind of see new area. Um, coverage wise, not too, too bad. We could benefit from a school though, in maybe one of these busier corners. Just taking a little bit of commercial to do that. Same logic for high schools. And then healthcare, we know is good because we have a hospital like right here, so that's totally fine. And then policing, we could use another police station in this small pocket here. Okay, so let's disrupt the corner here so that makes more sense. And then fire, I think we're okay. Yeah, we are. And that's kind of, is that it? That's kind of it. Place should be perfect now, right? Maybe a park, but... Perfect, that's a, that's a stretch, but it's looking really good. Yeah, there's a little plaza right here. Change the profile of some of these buildings. And then our ever-increasing walkability score. And we'll just get rid of these. Well, there you have it. A long episode, a lot got done. I don't know what to title this one. I can't really title it Industries DLC, but it's a bit of everything, which I really like. And the city is really starting to go, for goodness sakes. Second, I go into my giant uh, speech here. No, but for real, the city's looking great. And your input has made it just even better. And you guys, like, helping to make the content available for everyone are outstanding. You guys are, like, thank you very much. So many more episodes to come, my friends. Many more to come. And this is looking cool. This whole, like, industrial whatever area you want to call it. Stuff's getting balanced. It's growing. Onwards and upwards. Small town to come. More farming. Metal works coming. Little oil patch. Bigger um, industry buildings. Finishing the university campuses. Beefing up the waterfront. Putting in more transit. Unlocking new milestones. Crossing the river. Putting in the new university campus. Man, there's so much to do, isn't there, eh? And then, holy heck, building the downtown. Get in the airports. Oh my goodness, the list just goes on. Industrial Rail Corridor, haven't even revisited that yet. Where's that little mini-series? Oh my head, oh my goodness. All right, well guys, I will see you in the next one. There are so many more episodes. So, hope you guys are in this for the long haul, just like me. See you guys again, thank you so much again. Like forever and ever and always, thank you. We'll see you later. I'm rambling. You guys are the best. It's been episode number 25, I'm Imperial Jedi. Happy building, hope you have a smile on your face, and we'll see you next episode. Mm -hmm.